Okay, so in this video, what we're going to be doing is continuing from the last video uh, where we left off. We were talking about exact differential equations. What we're going to be doing in this video is taking a look at the criteria for the exactness of a differential equation. So we spoke about how the solution to the, the general solution to a first order differential equation can be written implicitly as f of x comma y equals c, some constant. If we differentiate both sides of this equation, we have df dx plus df dy dy dx is equal to zero. Right? So if we write df dx as a function of x and y, you know, some m function of x and y, and df dy as n, another function of x and y, then we can take this equation and we can rewrite it as m plus n dy dx equals zero. And if we multiply through by dx, we can get m dx plus n dy equals zero, uh, which is uh, probably what you what you'll more often or you'll more commonly see. And we call this uh, this form the differential form. So what what exactly is the criteria, uh, the the condition for which we can say, okay, this differential equation here is exact? The condition actually comes from the partial derivatives of the function f. So what we what we're specifically talking about is the mixed partial derivatives of f. Now if you notice I wrote the mixed partial derivatives of f are equal. So if the mixed partial derivatives of f are equal, then this differential equation is known to be exact. Now by mixed partial derivatives, I simply mean f sub x y must be equal to f sub y x or if you prefer, I could write it as d dy of d, df dx is equal to d dx of df dy. Okay? Now, of course, df dx is simply equal to m, and df dy is equal to n. So we can just write this as d dy of m. So dm dy is equal to d dx of n. So we have dm dy is equal to dn dx. So this is the condition for determining whether this differential equation is exact. And if you look at it, of course it makes sense. Because if dm dy is not equal to dn dx, then that means that m and n are not partial derivatives of a function f. In other words, there exists no function for which df dx, right? There exists no function for which df dx equals m and df dy is equal to n. So in other words, if this is not true, the differential equation is not exact. So this is a necessary condition, necessary condition for exactness. Okay, so whenever you're trying to solve um, a differential equation and you want to use the exact method, the first step is to check whether the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to the partial derivative of n with respect to x. If it is, then you know that there exists a function f of x and y such that df dx equals m and df dy is equal to n. So let me write this down here. Let's make a small division over here. Okay. So the first step, we check. Check if dm dy is equal to dn dx. Check if dm dy equals dn dx for exactness. For exactness. Okay? If so, then you can proceed to solve the differential equation. 
Okay, so here we have a differential equation, and what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to apply the criteria for exactness to see if this differential equation is exact. So in this case, we have m of xy is equal to y cubed, and we have n of xy is equal to 3xy squared. Now our criteria was dm dy must be equal to dn dx. Okay? So if we take the partial derivative of m with respect to y, then what do we have? 3y squared. So 3y squared. And now we're checking to see if that equals dn dx. So here we can take the, the partial derivative of n with respect to x, and we get the same thing, 3y squared. So immediately we say, okay, this differential equation is exact, which means that there exists a function f of y comma x. I'm sorry, let me write that, f of x comma y such that such that df dx is equal to m and df dy is equal to n okay so the thing about the thing about the exactness method is that it really depends strictly on the on the form of the differential equation so what do i mean by that well, if you take a look at this, in this form, the differential equation was exact. But let's say we divide through by y squared. So let's suppose we have, instead of y cubed here, if we divide through by y squared, we have y dx and then plus 3x dy equals 0. Okay. Now, of course, this equation looks different from this, but essentially they're the same. They're equivalent. However, in this case, we know that dm dy is not equal to dn dx, right? In this case, m is equal to y, and n is equal to 3x, right? So dm dy is equal to 1, and dn dx, dn dx in this case is equal to 3. So 1 is not equal to 3, and so this particular form of the differential equation is not exact. Not exact. So what can we, what can we, con what can we conclude about this, this result? So we can say that the exactness of a, of a differential equation depends on the form. It depends on the form of the differential equation. Regardless of whether they're equivalent or not, the exactness of a differential equation depends strictly also on the form of the differential equation.